Hi, it's me again with Corel Draws Tips and Tricks. And tonight's video isn't going to be too much about Corel Draws. It is about lasering and, and speeding up your laser and doing just the exact same job. Tonight, I had to run 24 of these boxes. If I would have ran them like this, which I started out doing, it took 8 minutes and 54 seconds. If I just rotate them 90 degrees, it only takes 6 minutes and 38 seconds. It doesn't look like it's that big a deal because this pattern is 5.75 by 4.3. Because your laser is going back and forth this way. But it does. It saves you 2 minutes and 16 seconds a box. For 50, or 24 boxes, it's going to save you 54 minutes and 40 seconds. That's almost an hour of savings. Now, some people are going to question why I run them one at a time. A couple of reasons. I This is raw wood, and I have to sand between runs to get the burn residue off. And it doesn't really save you that much time. Let's just get rid of these figures. Let's get rid of this one we're not going to use anymore. So we're, this is the one we're going to go with. And let's say we put it in this corner and it only takes uh, 6 minutes and 30 seconds, whatever it is. Uh, Control D, make a duplicate. Now we've got two. You definitely would run them like this and not like this. And I'm going to tell you the difference. This would on, only take twice as long to run two boxes. Because this is not dead space right here. The laser is going to... I run everything from bottom to top, bottom up engraving. I do it for a multiple of, of reasons. But this isn't dead speed space because the laser is going to go over there really fast. If you run them like this, and you could, you know, you could get a, you know, in my laser, I could probably get a lot of these boxes up there. Let's just see real quick how many we could get up here. You know, I could get eight. I could get eight boxes, but this isn't going to help me because this is dead space. This is going to take. So let's just go back to two. This is going to take more than twice as long to run than than just one box because this is dead space. Going back to here, this isn't dead space. Now, with that said. Let's rotate this uh, 180 degrees. Whoop. Let's make it 90 degrees and then flip it. This is the way it looks. With everything said, this is going to have less burn residue than this because these lines are smaller. These are deep. You know, I'm going deep so I can sand, but you're going to have a little more burn residue on here versus these little bit of tip. Because you're not really getting any residue on the sides. You're getting it as the smoke goes by. So it's going to take a little bit more sanding. But I've got six minutes of box of sand. It only takes 30 seconds. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.